What if I told you that your kiwi fruit might soon be genetically modified? If you've not been paying attention lately, the government's proposed gene technology bill is seeking to deregulate genetically modified organisms, not just in our labs, but in our farms and also in your fruit and veg. Now, Zespri is world famous for their natural kiwi fruit breeding program. But in the Health Select Committee hearings, they made a very strange admission. Now, Zespri said they would support the gene tech bill on the caveat that they support gene editing or precision breeding, referring to it as being indistinguishable from nature, basically saying it's not GMO. But here's the catch. It is GMO. And this reframing of language is wildly misleading for consumers. Gene editing might not add foreign DNA like older GMOs, but it still modifies the genes and can cause unintended off-target effects throughout the DNA. And once it's out in the environment, it can still migrate into other natural species. It's still genetic modification, and well-informed consumers know that. And under the new gene tech bill legislation being proposed, gene editing would not be defined as GMO, which is deceitful to consumers and potentially damaging to their health. Zespri also exports to Europe, and the EU courts of justice have ruled that gene editing is still genetic modification under their regulatory scheme and statutes. So that raises the spectre that if Zespri want to export their kiwi fruit to Europe, they're going to have to label it as GMO. And when Green MP Steve Abel asked Zespri in the Health Select Committee hearings, would they market these products as GE or GMO? And they couldn't comment. They dodged the question. But here's the part that shocked most people. 20 years ago, Zespri strongly opposed GMOs and they were against a similar piece of legislation being proposed then. They warned it would be bad for our exports and international reputation. But now they've seemed to change their tune and they're potentially missing something huge. Global consumer trends are clearly moving in favour of non-GMO, organic, natural and more transparent food. So if Zespri crosses that line, they also risk losing something their brand is built on. New Zealand's non-GMO export status. Furthering this push for gene editing, Zespri are now hosting gene editing symposiums across New Zealand right now, where they'll be now looking to introduce their breeders on gene technologies and gene editing. So if all of this surprises you, or maybe even concerns you, or you want your kiwi fruit to stay 100% naturally bred, it's imperative that you speak up now against the gene technology bill. Check the comments to see how you can take action.